Hello everyone and welcome to Volcano Bay. Today we're going to explore all the cabanas. I'm going to share with you everything I know about cabanas, what to expect from them, the best locations, the worst locations, anything you need to know about cabanas, I'm going to share with you today. As soon as you walk into the water park, straight ahead you'll see the volcano. Just to the left, you'll see this hut right here. This is where you check in for your cabana. There are four types of cabanas to choose from. There's the single, the upper, the lower, and the family. And here are some things you can expect from your cabana, regardless of which one you get. Of course, this is your own private area of the park, your home base. Now you're going to get a food basket when you get in. You're going to get uh, chairs and loungers with your cabana. There will be a refrigerator stocked with water. You will have your own Tapu Tapu. That's right, you don't have to go to the rides to tap in with your Tapu Tapu. Your cabana will have its own Tapu Tapu for you to tap into rides from the comfort of your cabana. Each cabana will have a ceiling fan. There will be controls for that. And each cabana has its own music with its own audio dial. Turn it up as low or as loud as you would like. Each cabana will have a server. All you have to do is raise a little flag. Your server or hostess will notice that, come up to you, take your order for some food you may want. Your complimentary food basket comes with danishes, muffins, grapes, some more fruit, um, and a big giant cookie. This cookie is delicious. And here's one of Rick's tricks when it comes to the cookie. Ask for an extra one. More often than not, they'll bring you one at no extra cost. But if you're ready to order a lunch or a dinner, just use the menus provided. It is a limited menu. However, I can recommend the longboard pizzas and my absolute favorite to order from here, the coconut shrimp. So here we are back at the front of the water park, volcano directly ahead of us. There's 51 of these cabanas. So we're gonna check out the perimeter first and then we'll check out the interior ones. And we are actually gonna start our lap around Volcano Bay clockwise. So to get to our first section, our first bank of cabanas, we're going to turn left and we're going to walk through Warturi Marketplace. And along our journey today, I will share any Rick's tricks or just thoughts that I have on the cabanas in general. Because you know, at any time, some random thought could pop in my head and guess what? I will share it with you today, as long as regarding cabanas. And here is our first set of cabanas that we come across. This is sections 23, A, B, C, and D. We have the lower cabanas, obviously lower, and then we have the upper cabanas. And here's one of my first recommendations of the day. I actually prefer the upper cabana to the lower. You get a little extra square footage with that loft area. See, your lower cabana is gonna end right here, but if we look above at an upper one, you get extra footage right there with that loft. That's why I like the upper as well as the upper tend to give you a better view. So I've shown you an upper cabana, a lower cabana, and this one is classified as a single because it's standalone. There's nothing on top of it or below it. It's right here all by itself. And here we have cabana bank number 21 and cabana bank number 20. Again, A, B, C, and D an upper and a lower. To give you some more perspective as to where we are in the water park, that is the volcano. So we're kind of to the left of the volcano. And then we have the cabana banks of 20, 21. We got the single is 22 and then 23 is that other. And I guess I'll go ahead and put it out there. I'll let the whole world know my favorite cabana bank, 20 and 21, the upper the upper cabanas, you get a nice view of the beach and also the volcano. So there's the volcano, there's the beach area, and we pan this way to my favorites, 20 and 21, upper. And we'll just stay on this main path here, the path that basically allows you to take a lap around the volcano. It is the main walking path. And remember, we are walking clockwise around the volcano. I don't know if you guys can tell, but behind me, another set of cabanas. I believe it's cabana set 18 and 19, but let's go take a closer look. So what we're gonna do, we see the volcano here, and then right here is a churro stand. We're gonna walk behind the churro stand to get to those. 
So if you like churros, you may be interested in requesting these cabanas. Cabana number 19 is a standalone, so it's a single. And to the right of that, we have cabana bank number 18. So you have cabanas 18A, B, C, and D, a lower and an upper. Something to note about these cabanas, 19 and 18, really close to a kid's play area. If you have kids, you might be interested in this area. If you don't, you might want to avoid it. Moving on from cabanas 19 and 18, just a little ways down here, that's going to be cabana bank number 17. Cabana bank number 17, A, B, C, and D, a lower and an upper, very close to that kiddie pool again, but these are right here at the drop off of the slides, oh yeah, oh no. But if you're the type of person who may enjoy just sitting here, watch people splashing down from oh yeah, oh no, you might want to request Cabana Bank number 17, or if you have kids, because again, Cabana Bank 17, very close to that kiddie pool. But if you want more privacy, maybe not the cabanas for you. Another thing to note about 17, elevators, in case you need an elevator. Okay, let's move on down the path to the next cabana. This next set of cabanas, starting with 16, basically on the back side of the volcano in the Rainforest Village, which is that way. But to get to cabana number 16, have to walk down these stairs, and it's very near one of the entrances to the Crazy River, the Fearless River, and it's gonna be right, tucked in right over there. Let's go take a closer look. The only thing available for 16 is 16C and 16D, and they're upper, as the lower section is kind of used as storage for the lifeguards. And it's because of that reason is why I don't prefer Cabana 16C and D. But it does have the advantage of being very close to the entry of the Fearless River. I call it the Crazy River because it certainly isn't lazy. Check this out guys, my little cheat sheet. I dropped it, it's soaking wet, it's now shredded. We're winging it from here on out. That shouldn't be too hard to do as we're basically just counting down from 23. To get to number 15, we need to walk over this bridge. It walks over the Crazy River and head towards Makapui. Sometimes I call it Makapui. Nikki doesn't like it when I do that. So I'm not gonna do that today. Now here is the Makapui ride, the entrance. And behind this foliage and the Tapu Tapu station is our next set of cabanas. So we just walk this way, kind of like Aerosmith. We just passed Makapui, or if you prefer, Makapui. And then cabana bank number 15 is gonna be on our right here. Let's go take a closer look at them, see what type of features they have for cabanas 15 A, B, C, and D. So here we have upper and lower with an elevator at this cabana bank. And here is the view from cabanas 15 A, B, C, and D. You get a look at the Fearless River. I would also like to note that most, if not all of these cabana banks, they do have a little beach section. Now these are not like reserved for you, but obviously you can put uh, your stuff down on some of these chairs if you want to claim one of these loungers, put your feet in the sand. So you're allowed to do that, but they're not just dedicated to the cabanas. But each cabana bank should have a beach section very close to it. Now the next cabana bank we need to find is going to be 14. Since my map is wet and shredded, I'm assuming we'll keep walking around this path, making a perimeter of the volcano. And it appears that Cabana Bank number 14 is not really, really close to 15, so we're taking a little bit of a walk, and enjoying the greenery and the sounds of the Fearless River. There were not any cabanas along this little side path. We could have just stayed on the main walking path to get to the next set. And now back to cabana banks 13 and 14. I remember these now as I have stayed in these before. Let me give you a little better perspective as to where you are. We're on the opposite side of the volcano from where we started today. And then if we head this way, we'll head to Hanu Iki Moana slides, the raft slides, that big blue wave slide there. And it's very close to the Cabana Bay Towers. Now it goes a little out of order as this is Cabana Bank 13. 14's a little down that way, but I have stayed in this one, this upper. We've stayed in that one. 
So this bank, you have a lower, you have an upper, and also this one comes with the elevator in case you need that. And that brings us back to Cabana Bank number 14, A, B, C, and D, a lower and upper, and also with an elevator very close to that Iki Moana raft slide. Cabana Banks 13 and 14, they are close to the Lazy River. These guys right here, they are viewers of the channel. They have rented a cabana for the day, and I just want to show you, right outside their cabana, they have the sand area that they're enjoying playing in the sand, right guys? Yeah. yeah. Well, have fun today. And I do want to let you know, I did ask mom if it was okay that I filmed them playing in the sand. She, she was more than happy to allow me to do that. And they're excited to be in the video. Before we leave 13 and 14, I do want to say, I'm not as crazy about these because you don't get as good a view of the volcano. You're kind of back a bit and there's a lot of foliage and trees and stuff like that kind of blocking your view. So for that reason, you may not want to request these cabanas if you want a good view of that volcano. And I think we're done with the cabanas that are around the perimeter of the park. We need to go interior now and look at those starting with cabana number 12 and 11. Now here's the thing and I really want to make this point to you guys. For cabanas 11 and 12, they are actually inside the Runamucca Reef kid zone. And they are singles, they're not a, uh, an upper or a lower, they're just singles, standalone. But they are inside the kid area. That's cabana 12, that one's 11. So if you have kids, you may actually want those cabanas, but if you're wanting a peaceful day, avoid cabanas 11 and 12. But kids, you got a lot of kids, this is a good spot for them. Again, I want to remind you that the sooner you make your reservation, the better chance you have of getting a cabana you want. If you wait to the last minute, you're just kind of stuck with the leftover inventory. Right here we have the Dancing Dragons Bar. And then we have the Wave Village West restrooms and lockers and cabanas nine and 10 are right down here. Let's go take a closer look. Cabana 10, cabana nine, they are singles. They are really close to the beach in the volcano. So if you don't want someone above you, you want these single cabanas. And then also, if you wanna be close to a bar, these are really close to that dancing dragon. One of the nice advantages to having a cabana, these make for nice home bases. You can get away from the heat or the sun for a little bit, turn on your fan, listen to some music that's playing in your cabana. Also, if the weather gets bad, if it starts to rain, offers more protection than being out on the beach under an umbrella. But I do have a warning in regards to the cabanas. Once you rent one, once you experience, you will never want to go back to the old way. You will always want to rent a cabana and the prices vary. If it's a busy season, you're going to pay more. If it's a slower season, you'll pay less. I think right now, uh, we're in spring break, they're going for like over $300 right now. Like, but I got one in February and I paid like, uh, it was like 200 bucks. So the busier it gets, the higher the price. And you're going to get hooked. You get it one time, you will be hooked, trust me. We now come to Cabanas four through eight. And I think these are the most popular. They are right next to the volcano. Just look at the volcano and make a right Numbers four and five, they're singles, standalones. Also, seven and eight are standalones. And then six have your upper and your lower. We'll go take a closer look at them. I just wanted to let you know how close they are to that volcano. I'll give you another point of reference before we head up there, but here's the volcano. We have the wave pool way to the left. Then we have this wading pool, the volcano, and then this cabana bank right here. Here's eight, which is a single. Gives you a nice view of the water there. Number seven, also a single right there. And that brings us to six, A, B, C, and D. We have lower, you have an upper, and I think that one is probably the most popular one because it's up high and it gives you a good view of the volcano and the beach and the wave pool. Here is the volcano. A little splashdown area. Then you have cabana four right there at cabana five. Cabana 4, also very popular. I mean, it provides a pretty good view. To get to the rest of the cabanas, I'm going to walk through the volcano, but you don't have to get to them that way. Mm -hmm. 
not quite at the end yet guys you're almost there though I want to remind you, click that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you'll know when another video is ready for you to view. I just exited the volcano and now we can see cabana number three. Now this is a family size cabana and there's only two family cabanas and they can seat like 16 people, up to 16 people. Whereas the single, the upper and the lower, they're designed for six people. Cabana 2, another single. And this is Cabana 1, also a family. There are two family cabanas, number one and number three, for parties of up to 16. And now I'm gonna give you another vantage point as to where Cabanas 1, 2, and 3 are located. I went through the volcano, but you don't have to do that. So if you come to the famous Krakatau Aqua Coaster and make a left, right up there, Cabanas 1, 2, and 3, Again, right down there, the entrance to the aqua coaster. Then we have the volcano right there. And right down this path, cabanas one, two, and three. Krakatau, my favorite ride in the park. And we've made our lap around Volcano Bay, checking out the cabanas on the perimeter and the cabanas in the interior of the park. There's the volcano. I want to remind you just to the left is the concierge desk where you check in for your reservation. You can also make reservations there, but I just beg of you, don't try to do it day of. You gotta call early because look at this sign, sold out. That happens pretty much every day. So that's our look at all the cabanas here at Volcano Bay. Don't worry, I'm gonna leave a lot of information in the description box, go check that out. But off the top of my head, I can say the most popular ones are four through eight. And then my favorite is Cabana Bank number 21, Upper. And then my least favorite, uh, I think 11 and 12, those over there in the Runamucca Reef. My kids are older, so. But you know what? If you have young kids, that might be your preferred cabana. Who knows? Not for me, but there's nothing more to say other than don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. Thanks for watching Rick's Flicks, and check out the description box for more information.